This is my Canyon Aerode CF SLX disc, which has its first outing back in February. That first ride was actually on the Yas Marina Formula One circuit ahead of the Abu Dhabi Tour, where I guess a bike as aggressive looking as this must have felt pretty much at home. Plus, it had the added bonus of running alongside Alberto Contador, a debut to remember if ever there was one. Now, as many of you will know, and as the name suggests, the Air Road is Canyon's Aero Road offering. I mean, just look at the wind cheating design. From the Aero forks at the front all the way through to the back of the bikes with the camtail seat tube, and of course, the dropped aerodynamic profiled stays. The aggressive race profile geometry means I can get into a pretty slam position relatively easily, which really does suit my riding style. And the short head tube means I can get into a low yet comfortable aero position. And that's the thing about this bike, it's built for speed. This bike has also taken me over some of the most famous and iconic mountain passes in the Dolomites, as well as taking me on a more modest yet hilly route on my commute to the GCN offices. Okay, let's have a little look at the kit on board my Aero. Now, just a few weeks ago, it had a nice little upgrade from old Tegra to the brand new shiny Durace R9170 group set, which means electronic shifting and hydraulic braking, giving far better braking performance. But, I hear you ask, don't disc brakes cause extra drag? Well, they do, but it's hardly noticeable at all. In fact, canyons say that disc brakes cause one watt of extra drag compared to rim brakes in wind tunnel tests. That's not bad at all. The hydraulic brake levers have slimmed down considerably from previous iterations, and I must admit, I find it pretty fascinating how they managed to squeeze that much tech inside such a small area. Looking at the wheels now, both front and rear, I've got DT Swiss ERC 1100, so a combination of lightweight and aerodynamics, and they're shod with Continental GP 4002's 25mm clinches. Gearing-wise, I've gone for a pretty pro setup, actually, away from the compact design. I've gone for a 5339 up front, 175mm cranks, while at the back, I've got an 11 through to 30 to get me up pretty much everything. Finishing kit wires now. So I've got Physique Arioni saddle atop a Canyon Aero seat post, Durace pedals, I've got fully integrated bars and stem, that's proprietary Canyon as well. And up front, I've got a Wahoo Element head unit. So with this bike primarily being built for speed, what does it weigh in at? We're gonna find out. Scales miraculously appeared from my back pocket. Oh, got the balance good. Here we go. 7.55. So there we go, a mini tour of my GCN colored Air Road. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. And if you haven't already subscribed to the Global Cycling Network, you can do so for free by clicking on the globe. And we have a couple more pro bikes I think you might like. Just click down here for Steve Cummings' Cervelo S5 from the Tour de France this year, or for Alberto Contador's custom Trek Imunda, click just down here. And don't forget to like and share.